Today's guide to life is all about advanced air fryer cooking and I have with me here my trusty air fryer which um, you know in a previous episode I've talked about and I say how I cannot live without my air fryer which is totally true you know every single day I use the air fryer and the whole family loves the air fryer so if you notice I'm not actually in my kitchen I have requested for this episode not to be shot at my house because there's only one problem with the air fryer and it is that when you cook things that are extra fatty it actually creates a lot of smoke so it smokes up my house and then I don't really open my window so it smokes up the house for quite a long time and it feels like I'm living in um Silent Hill. I guess a lot of people have a misconception about the air fryer because they think that the air fryer can only be used to cook nuggets or like french fries but actually the air fryer can cook things that you won't be embarrassed to serve to people you know and also on website online you will see that there are a lot of complicated recipes. Today I'm going to be trying out some of that. This is an appetizer. It's fried hot prawns. It's pretty easy to do but I've decided to sort of improvise on the recipe by adding some Hokkaido scallops into the mix. The reason why I put scallops in is because at home I tried air frying scallops and the result just astounded me. Okay, people who cook at home who have cooked scallops before would know that scallops are very difficult to cook and that's why in Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay is always like, it tastes like rubber. I have tried it on the air fryer and it actually turns out really nice. So the prawns, add chili flakes, one teaspoon black pepper, sea salt. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of honey because honey is just yummy. Now, I'm gonna mix everything up. The recipe actually calls for six minutes, but I found that with the air fryer, you kind of just have to like check it all the time because it may be cooked faster than what the recipe suggests. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in. So usually when I'm cooking with the air fryer, especially if it's something that I don't really know how long it will take to cook, I will check it. So now I'm gonna open it. It has been two minutes. So the prawns look like they are mostly done. I think the prawns are pretty much done. I'm gonna take it out. The scallops would probably take another one minute or half a minute. Okay, so there we have our prawns and scallops appetizer. As you can see, the scallop has turned out like pretty perfect looking. It's good. It's very flavorful and nice. And I think the chili flakes really, really bring out the taste in it. Overall, I would say this dish takes really very little effort. The only troublesome part is that you have to peel the prawns. Um, but otherwise, you can serve it to your guests, and I think nobody would think that it's not nice. So this recipe is rosemary chicken with sweet potato fries, and I have all my ingredients here. It looks like it's quite easy to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to turn on the air fryer to preheat it. So half a teaspoon of oil and pepper. Okay, now I'm going to toss it with my hands. 160 degrees for 10 minutes. So I'm putting the fries in now. And in the meantime, I'm going to start preparing my chicken breast. First add half a teaspoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of dried chili flakes, a drizzle of honey which I'm just going to pour like this. And then some ground pepper, some sea salt, and lastly, the rosemary which makes it look very atas. I think the fries are almost done so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the chicken. Here we go, chicken is in. So far, the recipe has been very very easy to do. Um, definitely something anybody can do at home, even idiots. It has been going on for 11 minutes now so I'm gonna take out the fries because I think that they are done. So I'm gonna check on the chicken now. Okay, so it looks like it's done. I'm gonna just take it out. Alright, so this is how my chicken turned out to look like. Mm. I think that this sweet potato fries actually taste better than normal french fries. Now I'm going to try the chicken. It feels pretty tough. Very nice. It's pretty juicy, it's not dry. And surprisingly very flavorful. I would eat it and I think I can probably finish it even though normally I don't really like chicken breast. Good job me and air fryer. Okay, so next we have our dessert and it's a ricotta and lemon cheesecake. In a bowl, combine the ricotta cheese, sugar, vanilla essence, one tablespoon of lemon juice and stir until they are well combined and form a homogeneous consistency. I don't actually bake that much at home. I usually just buy Betty Crocker's like instant mix stuff and it turns out perfectly fine and there's no guesswork to it so I don't see why there's a need to like bake it from scratch. Okay, it looks pretty mixed and then I'll add eggs one by one. One at a time. Just add the whole thing. Lah. Okay, so I'm going to add all three eggs at one time because who cares about stirring it well. Add the cornstarch and mix well. Is this how cheesecake is made? It looks beautiful and uh, golden. No, I can't. This looks like baby vomit. It looks like shit. 
I don't know if she's supposed to look this way. Maybe it will turn out really nice even though it's really lumpy and disgusting. But you know, everything else you put into the air fryer and it turns out like magically awesome. So maybe this will turn out to be awesome too. I'm supposed to pour it only 3 quarters full. And then the rest, I will dump it promptly into the dustbin. Now it's been half an hour, so I'm going to check it. Whoa, it actually doesn't look that bad. And it's beginning to smell really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to put it aside. I've let it cool and cut out a slice and it looks not too bad compared to the vomity looking substance that we had just now. Terrible. It's very lumpy. I don't know what other kind of cheese that um, other cheesecakes use but I have a feeling that this ricotta cheese might not be the best kind of cheese for it because it's kind of lumpy. It's like a cross between a quiche and a cheesecake and there's a lack of a crust and it's just overall just not good lah. Yeah, I wouldn't blame my air fryer. No, no, no. It's still flawless but it's the recipe. But the rest of the dishes turn out pretty good so if you're at home and you want to serve up dessert remember what i told you about betty crocker yeah just use her shit and your dessert will turn out perfectly fine no need to go through all this trouble so we've come to the end of the episode hope you guys enjoy all the recipes that are shown today and you know what i'm gonna say download the click network app so you can watch all of our videos before they even come out on youtube and seriously guys like seriously, please download that because you don't know how cruel these people at Click Network are. If I don't get at least 500 downloads for the app within the next 15 minutes, they are gonna, they're gonna use special effects to make me look fat in every single episode from now on. And then they said that for every shoot from now on, I'm not allowed to wear makeup. I cannot even put like falsies or like eyelash extensions and no lipstick. And they have dashed, dashed up in a warehouse somewhere. I don't know where he is. And they're gonna torture him and never return him to me. And they said that that's, that's my fault for not getting enough downloads. Please download the app. Oh my god, just please do it. <laughs> my son. It's so easy for you. Pick up your phone and do it now. It's free. Unless you are using a weird third world country Nokia phone, then please just go and get a smartphone. Thank you.